This is the Cougar Armor visual parts list. Just wanted to show you everything that we're going to be working with before we actually jump into the video. So here it is. And don't worry, I'm going to go through every single piece on the video. Here we go. Hello, my friends out there. This is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I've already shown you an unboxing of the Cougar Armor chair. These are all the pieces. And I've also showed you everything that comes inside of it at the beginning of this video. So with that, Everything's kind of broken apart now. Uh, I don't have anything in any, well, I do have it in a particular order, in the order to build it. That way I can access things that much quicker. You might want to do that before you start building it. Lay it out, you know, step one, two, three, and then before you even lay it out like that, or maybe in the process of laying it out like that, Take inventory of all the little screws, of all the pieces. Make sure you have everything. That way, in the off chance that you need to send it back, or that way you can take a picture if they need any proof. The champ chair should be able to take care of you, and Cougar for that matter as well. But anyway, let's get started with step one. All right, for step one, we're gonna need the bag of screws. All right, my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I'm getting over some weird virus. So anyway comes with an Allen wrench as I showed you before it's dual purpose Allen wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver so you got both ends right there all right then we're gonna need four of those little washers so let's go ahead and take out four real quick Alright, and then we're going to need four of those little Allen wrench screw bits. And those aren't just plain washers, they're kind of uh, Loctite washers, if you will. Alright, so now with those four screws and those four washers, or Loctite washers, we're going to go ahead and join the back with the bottom piece of the actual chair itself. So I'm going to go ahead and move the instructions aside. I'm going through the instructions with you, step one all the way to the very last step. So either you can follow along as you're reading the instructions or just put the instructions aside and go by this video. Alright, so I'm just going to lift this here. So now you're just going to on this side you're not really going to match up anything right now you're just going to match it up on this side okay so then you grab one of those washers and one of those screws and let me turn it over here just so you can see both sides that I'm doing all right now you're going to match up the holes here might be a little rough at first because they want to make sure it's nice and tight. All right, just do it by hand first. Screw it through that little washer and then just push it in here. There's going to be a little, little cushiony feel at first because you're going through some material, but then you're going to go through the threading itself. It feels like it's in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the other side in. So on this side, I'm going to do it kind of so you won't see it, but on the other side, I'm going to do it so you can see it. And this one, I have to push it in a little bit. Turn it over here so you can see a little bit better. And again, I'm going to show you a little bit better on the other side once I have everything locked in. Alright, now I didn't force it, but I went to there was a lot of resistance. I kept turning till there was a lot of resistance. I just, I don't want to break any threading. Alright, so now with the other two screws and other two washers, 
I'm going to turn it around this way. All right, so that you guys get the full example on how that works. So again, just match up the holes. There we go. Might need to move it up and down and left and right and everything just to get it perfect. All right. Once it's in there, now what you may need to do just to make sure is use the Phillips head side, just make sure you got the right hole. Don't push it all the way in because you're going to break something, you're going to break some foam. But that way you can see, ah look, I got the hole, cool. So now that that's gone in there, Alright, that one's gone in there. Alright, that one's in there. Kind of loosely though, but anyway, I'll get back to that one in a second. Alright, now that, that one's in a little bit. Focus on this guy again. I'm going to have to get back to that one in a little bit. Shouldn't be that tight, but either way all right so now we have chair together all right step three it's on the bottom all right just so that you can see the bottom there all right so what I'm gonna end up doing is attaching this guy down there so now We'll just grab the first one to start putting them in there. Now the front of the base, or the, the front that should be in the front, should I say, does say front as I showed you earlier. So just makes it a little bit better so that you don't confuse what side is which. All right, I'm going to leave that a little loose just for right now. All right, and now I'm going to screw in the rear one opposite that one. four in. Now we just tighten them up. All right, all four are in there nice and tight. Okay, and now we have one here and one here for the arm, so let me go grab the arm real quick. Actually, there's two here. One here and one here. So what I'll do, just start it off. Now let's see. don't really show you which arm to use so you have to uh, put two and two together look at a few pictures in there and just match it up and then get it but I'm showing you here now and I'll show you once I get the other side in how I did that So again, I put this one in as a pilot to keep everything nice and still so that I can put this one in. Now that I have this one in, I'm going to tighten this one and then this one. 
All right, so we're done on this side. I'm gonna flip the chair over so that we can do the other side. All right, so the way I knew that this over here and this over here, that particular one went on the other side and this one goes on this side, is right up front here, you see there's a little button. So your hands here, you push the button, you can move your armrest forward or backwards and forward. So one of the pretty cool functions of this armrest there are actually a few more, and I'll show you a little bit later on. So now we'll go through the same process here. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this one in as a pilot. All right, so you have the ability to adjust it to get in tighter and to get a little bit looser, I'm going to leave it loose for now. Loose just means I'm pushing it outwards. In case you didn't notice, I'm a big guy. So, and actually, one thing I wanted to mention to you about being a big guy, but I'll do it towards the very end. Alright, so now I'm actually going to put it on its back so that I can adjust the bottom one, the one that I did earlier, to its loosest side. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen it up a little tiny bit, and this one too, all right, and just pull it out. Okay, maybe it is better for me tighter, I don't know yet, but I'm only going to assume that I just need it a little bit looser. All right, so now we've done steps one, two, and three. Actually, I need to redo step number two. I put in the sides without putting the little bracket. Whoops. I'm going to go back and show you guys exactly what I did and what I should have done. All right, now, so for the side, you can see this one is perfectly flat for this guy down here. And this one has a little bit of an angle. All right, you can see that straight down, then boop, comes out over here. All right, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Now, it's not exactly what I had thought of before, but regardless, it'll still work. So, I put this here. Now, there's a little screw hole right over here. That's going to be what I use over here for, and that's what the Phillips head screw is for. All right. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. And let me just make sure I align it. Perfect. Now there's a little hole over here that this is just going to snap into. Kind of like right over here. Let me show you real quick. Alright, you can see right over here there's a little hole there's a little piece that sticks out that goes into a little hole right over here now of course you can use your Phillips head screwdriver but I just wanted to use exactly what came in the box just to show you you don't need any extra tools now it's easier if you use your own tools but hey you know again you don't need to buy anything special they made it really convenient for you. Right. Then they include a little cap that you could just pop in there to close it off. And then this guy. There we go, snaps into place. Now we'll just do the same over here. All right.
in there. And this guy just push it in and it locks into place. All right, so again, we've done steps one, two, and three. So now we have the easy steps four, five, and six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do four and five, then I'm gonna do six after I move some stuff around so I can show you everything. So now I'm gonna grab this guy. Now all we're going to do with these wheels, which they're really cool race car looking wheels, but just pop them in here. There's nothing extra you need to do to these guys. They just kind of snap in place. All right, easy enough there. Now we're rolling. All right, and now pop this guy right in here. Feels wrong because it's so easy. That felt wrong too, but anyway. <laughs> and now we put this over here, just covers it up. All right, and now put the chair over it. Actually, let's do it so you could see it. Uh, that might be a little difficult. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to throw it over. Um, maybe I can still do it. Yep, I could do it. So that was it, just slide it in. All right, you built the chair. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the table away, put this on the ground so you guys can see it in action. One sec, be right back. All right guys, so now we just need to put the pillows on these guys. I gotta tell you, start you off by telling you, I'm pretty excited, I've used office chairs and all this stuff. I never figured why am I going to spend close to 300 bucks for a gaming chair? I'm going to tell you now, this is my first time sitting on this. So I'll tell you first off, first hand, if it's worth it or not. So first off, just going to go ahead and put this little headrest pillow in here. Just a little, whoops, I don't want to insult Cougar, you know, if the chair is not comfortable that's going to be insult enough for them, but I'm going to tell you guys how it is, I don't want you guys spending money that you don't need to because I know I don't like doing that, so. Alright, just show you how it's done here. So now, just going to want to, alright, and now just clip these in place. This guy's going to snap back. Or you could have probably just done it, yeah, I'll just do it around the top, easier that way. I think this is the way it's done, I could be wrong, but I'll correct myself later on in another video. Reviewers are people too, they can be wrong. Alright. So now you got your back support and your neck support. So let's check this thing out. I'm kind of excited. Man. 
This is comfy. I like it. So two of the things I did was I lifted this handle to make this go up and then I pushed this thumb control to bring that up. Then another thing I can do is I can bring it out and in. It's pretty comfy. I need to adjust that lower lumbar, maybe raise it a little bit. The next support, ah, feels good. This is comfy. Now I know how people sleep on these things. So the other thing I want to mention, typical office chairs you find in Office Depot, Office Max, wherever, they're typically rated for 250 pounds. Go look now, I'll give you time because I know you want to. All right, so originally this chair was rated for 330 pounds. I don't know exactly what happened. I don't really care about the details. They went back and changed the, the rating from 330 to 264.55, I think it was. Now, I just so happened to be 264 point something pounds, but a little while ago we came back from IHOP. My wife is out of town. I didn't want to cook anything. I feel horrible. So I probably have a three extra pounds and it takes it nicely, it takes it well. All right, so. 264.55 I think their rating is on their website. I let them know they're correcting it on a few other places that may they have they have missed. But um so pretty cool. It, it I've never felt a chair feel like this. It feels great. Um let's see what else. So oh the other thing that does kind of scare me. The back can go down 180 degrees, laying down. Now, the bottom of the chair doesn't move. The pole doesn't move. How does that work? So, I'm going to try it now. I'm scared I'm just going to fall on my butt. Dirty mouth I have. So, let's try it. Okay, so I'm laying down. I could do it. I'm not comfortable doing it. So I'm just gonna bring it up. All right, I saw that. Somebody did that and it slapped in the back of the head or in the front, I don't remember what it was. But anyway, so as skinny as you may be or as fat as you may be, I'm on the upper end of that scale. I recommend if you're going to lay back that far down, put something so this can lean on. So, you know, if you fall asleep and all of your weight goes backwards, you don't want to fall on your head. The other word I said too. But anyway, pretty cool features. Um, I'm going to list them more, of course, in the written review. But my office chair is gone. This is my new office chair. I'm amazed. It feels amazing, nice and sturdy, like it should. You know, it, it's not a $50, $60, $80 chair. So this is a chair that's going to last you some time. The breathable leather is awesome. Um, the, the way that you can move the arm and the rest and all that stuff back and forward. Let's put it this way so you can see it. Back and forward. You can tilt it like that. All right, and then up and down like that. And let's see. I'll probably, I'm going to make another video just getting more into the details of what this chair can do. There's more that I haven't shown you just yet. So pretty cool. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger just showing you how to build the Cougar Armor gaming chair. Iggy with Dragon Blogger. See you guys.